Bianca with Leaders in Business Podcast, where CEOs and executives in digital marketing and social media space share their best advice. It is six questions in nine minutes because leaders know what they're talking about. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me on the podcast. I appreciate it. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Chris Bailso. I am a digital marketer, a podcaster. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I'm a 26-year-old entrepreneur that lives in Southern California. Awesome. So what's the best thing about leading your business? You said what? I didn't hear you. Uh, what's the best thing about leading your business? Uh, the best thing about it is being able to help companies grow, help businesses grow, um, and being able to um, use my podcasting platform to help people with personal development and just helping them create that exposure when it comes to business. Um, you know, what I do, I bring on certain guests. Um, and with these guests, they'll, show their, they'll share their story and share what they do. And that kind of piques the interest of, of my audience. That's awesome. So I hear from others that it can be challenging to grow your business today with everything that is going on. So what are the biggest challenges you see business leaders facing today? Um, I think the biggest challenges I see business um, when using social media is they don't clearly define what growth is, right? So growth for me can simply be that I have 500 followers and a hundred of those people, they buy my product on average, but growth for me can be, hey, I want to get that number to 150. So uh, it, 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 you got to define what growth is for yourself. Um, if you want growth as far as like followings and likes and whatnot, um, another issue that people may come across is maybe that they're using strategies that are old and outdated, right? Uh, what strategies that worked maybe a year ago or maybe at the beginning of the year they they may not work anymore because social media is changing and growing and evolving every single day yeah totally agree with that so what is the best advice that you can give to other business leaders about creating a successful business okay um so three things that i would advise is it'd be three different words it'd be consistency being authentic and being willing to test. Um, you always want to be authentic as possible on social media. People gravitate to uh, your, your true story and your, your truth. Um, being willing to test, um, you know, testing out different things, testing out different creative, testing out what content works, testing out what content doesn't work, and just, just being willing to be consistent as well, right? We all know that, um, you know, Rome wasn't built in a couple of days. It was brick by brick and it takes time, right? So whatever that consistency looks like for you, whether it's posting every day, posting every other day, I would definitely say be consistent with it. So consistency, being authentic, and uh, being willing to test. Yeah, that's awesome. So you mentioned about um, being consistent. So can you give some actionable steps for business leaders to achieve that? Right. So, leaders. yeah, absolutely. So if you're on social media, um, a practical step would be to, hey, maybe post every single day, post some valuable content every single day. Maybe you have a podcast like this one. Um, maybe you're posting every single week. You're sticking to a schedule. Maybe you're posting twice a week. So your audience is knowing, um, hey, that they're posting every week. I can tune in at this time and at this day every single time. So it's going to help with growth. Um, going back to social media, by you posting consistently and posting often, your brand, your business is in the face of people consistently, um, and they're going to be more familiar with it, right? How many times do we put on the TV and we see a McDonald's commercial, or how many times do we see McDonald's ads? It's all the time. It's in our face it's to a point where like, okay, let me just go get this hamburger real quick. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So we also mentioned about being authentic and we all know that sometimes it's very hard to be authentic these days because there's a lot of, mm -hmm. you know, trending. So can you give some th tips just to be, just for the business leaders, for them to know, you know, how to be authentic, how to be authentic? Yeah. For, yeah. For me. So for me, I'll give a practical tip for me being authentic. It's just going online and just sharing what I'm learning and sharing my journey as an entrepreneur. Um, we all know entrepreneurship is, is an up and down 
a roller coaster. A lot of entrepreneurship gurus online, they only show, you know, the Lamborghinis, the money, the yachts and whatnot. But for you to be authentic, you can go online and say, hey, this is what I'm going through today. This is the loss that I took. Um, this is how I'm feeling. That's being authentic. That's being true to who you are and that's being true to your brand. So that's basically what I do I, is I go on there and I just share what I'm learning and um, I share the highs and I share the lows. I want people to see, uh, you know, this journey that I'm on. Well, that's very incredible. So yeah. what other successful business leaders like yourself would you like to acknowledge and should be on the podcast? You got to have Gary V on here. You got to have Gary V. Uh, I like get, everybody knows like Gary V. You know, Damon Jones from Shark Tank is a great one. Um, there's a lot of great ones out there. Uh, you know, obviously Tony Robbins. I'm just listening off the people that I kind of look, look up to. Uh, one of my favorites is Eric Thomas. Eric Thomas is a, a motivational speaker. So those are just a few that I look, I look up to and I really pay attention to as well. Awesome. I will look them up. So now for the final fun question, who is the most interesting f person to follow on social media and why? The most interesting person to follow on social media is me, of course, because <laughs> I just, I just keep it real. I'm authentic. Um, I'm always open to having conversations with people, whether they hit me in the DM or whatever it takes. You know, I'm one of those people that I love to help people out. Um, that's why I'm in the digital marketing space, helping people with their businesses. That's why I have a, a personal development podcast. So I got to say me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it was a pleasure having you on. So how can yeah, people absolutely. find you? So you can find me on Instagram. My personal account is at Chris Bale. So that's C-H-R-I-S-B-E-L-L-O-S-O. -L -L -O -O. If you want to check out my podcast, the name of my podcast is The Beautiful Struggle Podcast. Um, and you can check us out on Instagram as well. That's at Beautiful Struggle Podcast. Well, that's a wrap. This is Bianca with Leaders in Business Podcast. For more insights and ideas, go to our website, leadersinbusinesspodcast.com. Music